Good morning, Mohammed. Um, I forgot to mention in my last video that one of the things that I love so much uh, are concerts. I love concerts. I'm going to see M83 really soon uh, at the end of April. And I just found out this morning that Tears for Fears is playing with Cold War Kids uh, in June, um, which are like two of my favorite bands ever. So I'm so excited about that. Uh, I don't know if you like concerts as well, but that's definitely my thing. Um, so let's get into it. Um, so I think I may have heard something about Christine Thompson saying uh, that it was a, a, like an, an alternate universe, but I think it might have been referring to the fact that, you know, like Jude um, joined the show from 16. Um, so perhaps it is an alternate universe. Also, Total Drama Rama kind of exists, you know, outside of the um, everyday universe. I guess Total Drama did as well, though. So, um, yeah, it's hard to say. Um, Bridget is definitely on good terms with Gwen, Lashana, and Courtney. Um, I'd say she's probably closest with Gwen. Um, I think that they're just, uh, you know, they have good vibes between them and uh, they're supportive of each other. But, you know, Bridget Bridget kind of loves everybody that was a part of the, the total drama uh, universe that she was in. You know, she is a friendly person and, and is, is just good vibes with everybody. Um, so she stays in touch with uh, Harold, uh, Gwen, um, Courtney, and Heather, uh, surprisingly. Um, from 1 to 10, what score do I give Stoked, Total Drama Rama, Redonkulous Race, Total Drama, Little Bear, Instant Star? And why are those your scores? Okay. Um, I mean, uh, do you mean rank them in order or just give them a score? Because I give all of these shows um, a 10, except for Instant Star, I would give a 9. That's only because... I think they switched out some writers in the middle of the season, um, so they didn't know exactly what they were going to have Megan do. Um, so it was a little uh, touch and go for a minute. I didn't exactly know um, what she was going to do or what she was capable of. Um, and I like to, you know, kind of craft my character's story arc uh, as an actor, so I felt... Um, uh, maybe just a little intimidated by uh, my own actions where I was coming from, but I think it actually helped play into, um, you know, the, the, uh, what's the right word? Like the uncertainty surrounding Megan and, you know, what she was all about and what she was capable of, which I don't think any of us could have guessed, um, where she was headed. Um, so yeah, stoked, full 10, total drama, full 10, redonkulous race, um, like maybe even an 11. It was just so much fun. I loved recording with Jeff Geddes so much as the voice of uh, Devin. Uh, we just had an absolute blast in the studio. Uh, Jeff actually calls me his animation <laughs> rabbit's foot because uh, I was his first, uh, his first gig was with me. He was also on Stoked um, and uh, we just seemed to have good luck together, good energy, and we end up um, being put together. Um, uh, Total Drama Rama. Actually, you know, I think I, on the last video you asked me what my favorite is and I said stoked. I'm leaning a little bit towards Total Drama Rama um, because I really loved voicing Bridget as a child. Um, I really, really enjoy doing like children's voices and she was so sweet and so cute and I, I really loved everything that I, I got to do with her um, in daycare. Uh, Little Bear, solid 10, um, maybe uh, even an 11 as well. I'm going off the charts here. Um, it just, it means so much to so many people and uh, you know, I, I get messages like weekly, daily sometimes about how much people love Little Bear and how they watched it themselves and now they share it with their children and it just it just means so much to me and it makes my heart just so full um yes i think that's all of the uh show ratings 
um, any reason the producers reduced her role. So one thing that the producers actually did say to me is that sometimes they had trouble writing for Bridget because she was so kind and chill. Um, you know, she didn't really create a ton of drama. So um, even sometimes they would write lines for her and then say, you know, maybe we should give that to Izzy instead or uh, things along those lines because it just didn't seem very uh, Bridget-esque, I guess. So um, yeah, I would just uh, I would just say that I wish there was more Bridget in all of the shows, Total Drama Rama included. Um, although I did love that even though Jeff and I were voted off that we got to host Aftermath. That was one of my very, very favorite parts of of recording Total Drama was doing the Aftermath shows with Dan. Uh, just an amazing experience. Also, I did not actually receive a DM from you. I'm not sure where you sent it, um, but if it's just my Instagram, at Kristen Fairley, uh, I checked. I checked the um, requests folder and everything. I didn't see anything from you, so maybe um, you could let me know what your Instagram handle is or comment on one of my photos or my posts and then I'd be uh, able to see it easier. Um, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are and thank you so much for asking all of these awesome questions. I love your interest and your um, investment in um, the total drama, ridiculous race, you know, universe and stoked and and um, thank you for being interested in my career. It's really kind of you. So yeah, I hope you have a great, great day.